Good morning, folks. Today we've got some great articles, some earthquake news, and a world of weather. But first, let's jump over to spaceweathernews.com and check out the last day on our star. We had a surface surge to the north, the most minor of pops from the bright areas containing umbral fields and the sunspots. But one really has to credit the Earth-facing solar quiet effect to keep solar flaring under wraps with the potential currently on the disk. Big sunspot still departing to the right, and even the central grouping has dealt a potential there south-central. That's if the polarities begin interacting more. Solar wind for three days shows the stream that impacted Earth is already waning away along with the geomagnetic disruptions, calming magnetic shield at Earth. Folks, we've got more coronal holes coming in. Remember we saw this yesterday. And so let's jump right to the earthquakes. Okay, now folks, this is going to be a bit disappointing. Yes, it is true that yesterday 6.1 in Japan struck in the heart of our red alert zone. However, if you will recall yesterday, we did not extend the watch period from before, and it was only a four-day alert instead of the usual seven. Despite being only 4.5 days after the alert began, it does not count. Gotta listen to the words spoken. Even though we indeed shifted the watch zone up there two and a half days before the earthquake, that's a close proximity, and in the truth of the universe, the watch probably should have counted if you are doing OLR analysis, but for the purposes of our official predictions using OLR, it does not count. That would be somewhat fraudulent. It is an earth spot rumble, however, no question there, and this is one of the top three locations for it. Also had a shake way above average there. think he might be lost, however. Anyway, here's yet another instance of the impossible cloud on Titan. Interesting read, and I would like to submit the very short-term condensation forcing by cosmic factors, like we're discovering here on Earth, should be considered a possibility. Then we've got an incredible article out about how earthquakes both here and Mars may be proliferative to life, sort of the opposite of what we're used to. Global climate report for the last month has come out, and while this is what is being shared all across the internet, as always, it's the misleading one. Here's the one that doesn't make you think 80% of Earth had wildfires last month. Take away that spot in Europe, and it's nowhere near a record showing. Interesting piece out about how the United States will sharpen its solar storm forecasting for its power clients. That would be the power companies, not you. It's a great idea, though, and if only there was something that could get those space weather alerts directly to you, the people, whether it's the grid or your health potentially in play, it would be good to know. And of course, it should show other disasters like earthquakes and predict them if they can, maybe even contain our official location predictions based on OLR. Hopefully we're just a few months away. Midwest USA and UK and Ireland get the top alerts in our top viewer locations. India going to take a sub-cyclonic level storm today that will still seem very powerful. We've got pressure and radar forecast followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.